Turning a neighborhood around can be a constant struggle. People in Over the Rhine know that firsthand. But as Angela Ingram shows us, they are determined to show that the number of good people far outweigh the bad. Recent shootings, including murders, are troubling to the people who live in Over the Rhine. Deneen Upshaw loves her neighborhood. Shooting and all that. It's bad. Don't make sense. But she knows that it's sometimes hard for her grandkids to safely play in certain areas. Yes, a lot of times. I don't like them playing in that park over there because they do too much shooting down here. People have worked hard on making Grant Park a safer environment. They've expanded and beautified it. And now they've set up what they're calling murals with a theme. It's just really uh, supposed to challenge people to think about life and death and think about choices that they make. One is in Grant Park. People walking by can fill in their thoughts with chalk. It's a heavy subject before I die. Uh, we picked Grant Park to have a mural here because this is kind of the center of the Grant Park block watch and, and the th things that do happen kind of happen right on the, on the periphery. This is in the center. The other is set up about a block away where a man was gunned down at Lang and East Clifton last week. Neighbors also joined pastors and community activists in prayer. We decided that we're, when we see this, we're going to stand up and let, let folks know that this is not acceptable in our neighborhood. Things don't change overnight, but neighbors are seeing progress, and they'll keep pushing to make things better. You know, it takes one person to stand up, and it's contagious. They see that we can make a difference, and we are making a difference, and people want to be a part of that. In OTR, Angela Ingram, Local 12 News.